It's December 2023, and the long-awaited 2.2 update has released after a 7-year wait. But what if I told you that the update was actually supposed to drop 5 years earlier? Don't believe me? Well, let's head back in time and find out what the heck happened. Robtop had just posted version 2.1. Players everywhere hopped on to mess around with the new features like the spider game mode. Back then, it was the longest we've ever had to wait for an update, taking a year and a half, which seems pretty pathetic compared to 2.2. But believe it or not, the game used to get updates every few months, and to wait this long pissed everybody off. So it was a great relief when Robtop came out and said that there wouldn't be a huge wait like this ever again. Update 2.2 would come out soon. Hype grew as little previews were shown, and that holiday season, Robtop dropped a new spin-off game on the app stores that used some of the 2.2 features we were waiting for, showing that the update was almost ready to go. The next year, we got this little puzzle that revealed the upcoming new level song, and it was really fun to solve, translating the word bucket to Swedish, and adding the first two letters of this phrase got you the artist's name, and stacking these little things on top of each other got you the Internet Explorer's logo. One of Heinkix's songs is called Explorers, Puzzle Solved. It was cool and all, but that would be the last look into the update we'd get in a while. As 2018 went by, progress on 2.2 appeared to slow down. One of Robtop's closest mods came out in the summer and revealed the reason why it was taking so long. The developer was struggling with the new versus mode. It was a huge feature that basically let you race against others to beat a level in-game. For just some solo indie dev, trying to tackle all the server nightmares and programming challenges this task would bring must have been very tough. However, to assure us, Rob Top himself later came on to the livestream of the YouTuber Chris Credible and said that he was working his butt off trying to get the new version released by around Christmas of that year. I'm just saying, Rob, okay? Take your time, Rob! Take your time, Rob! <laughs> Dropping 2.2 during the holidays would be genius, as everybody is getting cash or gift cards for Christmas, and you bet these kids would buy that one mobile game that everyone at school couldn't stop talking about after the epic update. But as the 25th rolled around, people were opening presents hoping maybe Robtop left the 2.2 underneath the tree, but he didn't deliver. But he said around Christmas, everyone said, it should be here any second now, it's just around the corner, right? <laughs> uh. Going into 2019, there was still no update. Why? Well... Robtop revealed what he was busy doing instead of packaging up 2.2 for release. An entirely new mode for Geometry Dash, where you break away from the classic side-scroller and fully control the character, like a Super Mario game. It was new. It was exciting, but it was worrying. I mean, an entirely new game mode? That's gonna push development time for months. And he wouldn't stop there, adding more and more crap to the update. Let's add a tool that lets you stretch objects. Let's add sound effects in the editor. Let's add an entire program that builds the level for you. The problem with 2.2 is it's a bad cycle because I add stuff and then it takes long and expectations get higher so I add new stuff. Yeah. And then it takes longer and expectations get higher and the vicious cycle continues and continues and it did for years. Just compare all the stuff added in version 2.1 to version 2.2 including features he'd later cut from the finished thing. We'll get into that later. Now do you see the problem? When the community was breathing down his neck nagging him about the wait time, Rob Top would always promise not to add any more stuff, but he'd go back on his word many, many times, chucking in crap whenever ideas came. Robtop, look at this cool filter idea. I'll add that. Robtop, look at this cool orb I made for my fan game. That's mine now. Robtop, do you maybe think you can add 6 to 2.2? I'll see what I can do. Ah, who left that there, huh? Maybe that's a sign that you should subscribe, huh? <laughs> now, after years of developments, Robtop had all these unfinished good ideas, but not many polished things to release. 2.2 was like a massive house with a huge foundation, but with no finished walls or a roof over it, it couldn't be sold. The features in the update were an incomplete buggy mess, and all the crap clashed with one another, amplifying the chaos in the code. Half of the update 
update was actually leaked back in 2019 when Robtop updated some of the spin-off games and accidentally left some 2.2 code in there. How you forget to remove that sort of stuff is beyond me, but whatever. After some genius programmers spent months picking the leak apart, they made a working 2.2 private server out of it. And by working, I mean, it could launch, it could play, but it would act weird and chaotic. There were so many little tripwires that would cause the game to crash or do strange things. I played on it once to try recording footage for a video and it would just break like every other time I opened the editor. It was safe to say that 2.2 was far from release. On the 8th anniversary of Geometry Dash's release, Robtop surprised everyone with a 2.2 sneak peek. Progress was being made, but the level shown in the video wasn't explorers as people were expecting from that teaser back in 2018. It was a secret second level with a secret special song by MDK, that's the guy who made Finger Dash's music. Explorers was still in the works, and Robtop announced that another sneak peek for that level would release soon. For the time being, People kept on waiting, with their hope regained. Meanwhile, the impossible game 2 was being built. If you didn't know, Robtop completely robbed the idea for Geometry Dash from the impossible game, made before he even started game dev. Putting the two side by side, you can tell exactly what went on. And while Geometry Dash went on to become incredibly popular, the impossible game died out. But now it's back, and ready to steal GD's fanbase with a game that actually gets updated. I find it funny how in its branding, the game is advertised as the original rhythm platformer, a little jab at Robtop, but did it stand a chance against the GD giant? Mm, no. The game absolutely flopped, with the launch trailer getting as many views as my crappy old videos. It's funny though, because even though Geometry Dash was left without new stuff, the community was actually doing just fine. What appeared to be a dead game on the outside was growing on the inside with Robtop's YouTube channel reaching 10 million subscribers. That was more than Minecraft, Nintendo, or any of your favorite creators. And he posts like twice a year. The community managed to keep itself entertained, despite the lack of updates. The 2.1 editor was more than enough to crank out new exciting stuff every month. Creators were constantly pushing the limits of the game and wowing everyone in the process. And by everyone, I mean everyone, like people outside the community too. I was surprised when my brother, who has nothing to do with the game, recognized Change of Scene by Blee, which goes to show how we ourselves are making Geometry Dash known across the world. Content creators were keeping the game alive through new challenges, fun videos, and hilarious streams. I don't care! Yeah! Programmers were hacking the crap out of the game and essentially making their own updates. Small game devs were building their own fan games based off GD. And of course, Robtop's 2.2 progress updates have always kept people around. You know, in another update made to GD Lite, Robtop accidentally left in all the 700 icons he was adding to the game. They were pretty cool to see when they were leaked, cause lots of them were community made. But like, dude, hide your shit better, what's going on? 2022 rolled around, and Robtop said that he planned to drop the update that year. Hype grew as people began theorizing when it was going to release, and they found the perfect date, February 27th. 2022. I mean, come on. 020222 on a Tuesday? Now that's the perfect time to release update 2.2. Keep in mind that by this point, we have been waiting more than half of the game's existence for this update, as in all other updates combined and some. It had better come out on the 22nd, but of course, <laughs> It didn't. Excitement rose up and sharply fell down, causing disappointment around the community. As pessimism took hold, February 22nd, 2222 seemed like the most reasonable release date. We got another sneak peek later that year. This time, it was actually for the level Explorers, the map we had been waiting for the entire time. Robtop tend to drop the new version a few months after the level is revealed, so the update has to be around the corner, right? Well, no. 
He was still busy dealing with the 2.2 dumpster fire, bug fixing and polishing all the crap in the update was taking forever. The sneak peek was seemingly just something rushed out to keep the starving community busy for a few extra months. Why do I say that? Well, you can tell by the build quality of the level. It was weirdly unbalanced and poorly synced with the music, and many complained of how gimmicky it was, like he was trying to cram all the new 2.2 features into one level at the expense of the actual gameplay experience. Of course, the young community with their rose-tinted glasses on ate it up, so Robtop sneak peek sort of did its job, getting people off his back for a bit. But as 2023 rolled around and we entered year 6 of the wait, players were as hopeless as ever, with some losing faith entirely claiming it would never come out. Many Robtop fanboys kept backing him saying he was trying his best and working his hardest, and on one hand, it is easy to defend him, as he's a solo developer for an indie title. Have you ever tried coding 20,000 things for a massive video game? But on the other hand, why was he trying to code 20,000 things in the first place? Oh well, there's no use ranting, even though it's very fun. And anyway, in this little story we've been exploring together, 2.2 was truly around the corner, as a catastrophic event would light a fire underneath Rob Top's seat and force him to get his act together. In May, the game was unexpectedly taken down from the Google Play Store, meaning if you didn't already have it on your Android phone, you couldn't play it at all, unless you pirated it, but let's not get into that. Robtop knew this was gonna happen. Because he hadn't updated the game in so long, he was late to adding some new security features Google demanded. Version 2.2 already had them, and the guy Robtop spoke to at Google said that he had a couple months to release the update before the game was taken down, so he thought he had time. But then Google said screw it and took it down anyway, locking out an entire chunk of the community. Remaking the security changes in the current version would be a lot slower than this finishing up 2.2. So Robtop was essentially forced to lock in, cut the bullcrap, and complete the update. Community hype was at an all-time high, with Robtop dropping the third and final sneak peek for the update. For once, when people said 2.2 was around the corner, it actually seemed like it was true, especially as in August, Robtop had this to show us. A release date or month. But this was more than enough for the community, which had been starving for this update for years. This wasn't some random Discord message or Twitch chat screenshot, no, no, no. Robtop was announcing publicly to the world, to his entire 10 million strong audience, that the update was coming, and all 10 million of his fans were holding him accountable as he got right to work. With such a short time window, he was forced to cut out major parts of the update, mainly the level explorers and the versus mode. It's funny because if you remember, the versus mode was the main reason the update was delayed for so long, and now it was being entirely cut from 2.2 to get it out ASAP. That's why it's grayed out when you try to access it now. Unless you're watching this video in the future when the thing is actually released. To that, I'd like to say hello from the past. How's the year 2034? To add more fire underneath Rob Top's seats, Apple dropped the iOS 17 update in September, which absolutely screwed up the game to the point that it wouldn't even launch. Like on the Android side, the key to fix it was only in 2.2. So if you played on an iPhone or iPad and updated your device like any reasonable person would, you would be completely locked out of the game until Rob Top finished version 2.2. The mobile community was in shambles. It was okay though, because the 2.2 update was just around the corner, right? Right? I'm getting tired of saying this. As October rolled around, signs that Robtop wouldn't be able to deliver began to show. It was revealed that the new main level, Dash, still hadn't been built yet. The snippet we saw in the first sneak peek from 2021 was basically all that we had. Even after cutting down the features, bug fixing was taking forever. And the fact that Robtop had recently switched servers only made the crappy situation even more crappier. Speaking of servers, they were about to light up in flames when the update dropped with everybody hopping on. Many wondered why Robtop chose to announce a release month instead of a release date. Well, this is why. If he set a specific day for it to drop, everybody and their mother would have their computers opened up on Steam or their devices opened up on the App Store to download it. Just imagine how much that pressed the servers, which were already pretty slow, as you'd know if you've ever tried saving your accounts. But if he dropped it, say, 
late at night on a random Tuesday, that would lessen the blow, and maybe the servers won't explode. The update was pushed into November, then again into December. Robtop was working his hardest, but if you haven't caught on by now, he wasn't the greatest at keeping promises. Anger grew as he began to go silent on Discord and Twitter. People's last hopes were for a release around Christmas, but you know how that went in 2018. But then? Tell me, what does this say right now? It says update, like real update. Hey, guys. Oh, what the heck? Um, Dude, chicken best is true. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god. god. He's on Downloading. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one that YouTube picked out just for you. But anyway, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.